everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here with a layout and I'm so excited. I was asked to be a guest designer designer for Tombow this month and they sent me a whole bunch of goodie stuff. So the first thing you saw was the Tombow um, dual brush pens and then a Tombow glue pen, some Tombow foam tabs and a Tombow stamp runner dot pattern adhesive some tombow mono multi liquid glue and a and some tombow adhesive dots and uh right before this video uh you can go see i did a haul video to kind of show you what they sent me they sent me a whole bunch of stuff i couldn't believe it it was awesome it was like christmas i was opening that stuff up and i was so excited to get started so i just kind of brought a whole bunch of stuff from the stuff that they you know they they sent me because i really didn't know what i wanted to do i just knew that i wanted to play with all the, those products so i i just got some stuff from my stash and um it's the chamel line and i just took one of the pattern papers and then i added some clear gesso and this is a picture of some books that i wanted to read uh, that I want to read this summer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the um, rub-ons and I'm going to add them to the background. Now the rub-ons, they're also a th couple things. They're quite old. They're probably six months and the thing with rub-ons is that you need to use them almost as soon as you get them. And second thing is I went and put some clear gesso on my pattern background when I should have probably put my rub-ons directly on the pattern paper, it probably would have worked a whole lot better. They still went on, so I'm I'm totally fine with that, and um, and they still turned out pretty pretty good. And but the thing is, they probably would have went on a little bit easier if I wouldn't have put them on top of that clear gesso because that clear gesso is quite gritty and um, makes it so that it's a little harder to to use them. Okay, so while I'm just laying down those rub-ons, I just want to tell you that, like I said, I'm the guest designer, one of the guest designers this month for Tombow, and they're also having a contest that you guys can participate in. It's going from July 29th to August 19th, and what you can do is do any project that you want, as long as you use two Tombow products, and they will be doing a something they call a raffle copter and you can build some points up. I'll have a link in the description to, you know, how you can build up some points, but I'll just say quickly here, you can get three points for making a project and linking it, five points for making a YouTube video, and three points for making a pro, uh, four points for these videos, Vine on Instagram or Periscope. And you can get extra points by following them on their social media. So you can earn more than 20 points for the chance to win a prize similar to what I got. So that's pretty awesome. So go check that out. And also you can check out the uh, video that I did on the haul. And I'm going to talk a little bit as we do the video about the different products that I used in this, in this kit or with this, vi you know, for this page. And um, like I said, this is a picture of some books that I wanted to read, that I want to read this summer. And uh, I haven't read in so long, so I just wanted to make sure that I, I get to read. So I, I'm using right now the Tombow Dual Brush Pens. And you can use those for coloring, lettering, doodling, mixed media. You can color your wood veneers with them. But for me, the best part is that you can use them as watercolor. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I like to add some kind of watercolor ink or you know any something like that and I add it on some packaging, add some water and it adds really cool effect to the background. It's like a watercolor stain. Well, how easy is this? This comes in a paintbrush <laughs> and you just add it to your packaging and you just add it to the background and it comes in really awesome colors. They sent me 10 different colors and I'm going to use two different colors on this layout. I'm going to use a, a pink and a like an aqua teal color. 
And then once I had the watercolor down, I thought mm, I can use a little bit more of um, some rub-ons. And I don't know why my video, sometimes it does this. It, it's quite pixelated, so I'm really sorry about that. But now I'm just mounting my photo. I'm using the uh, Tombow Stamp, what's it called? The Tombow Stamp Runner Dot Pattern Adhesive. And that thing is pretty cool. What I like about it, it has two different tips to it, if that makes any sense. You have your regular dot runner that you can, you know, glue your pictures to your pattern paper. And then you have the, the top of it is like a stamp so that you can just, you know, when you get really tiny little die cuts that you want to put some inks on it but if you pull on the stamp runner it kind of gets little dots you know where you don't want dots well this stamp thing i'm doing it right now boom boom it goes down so it just stamps exactly where the die cut is i love that it um, really works well on smaller die cuts and the little dots really has a little cool little pattern so that you can use it as a resist also for your dual brush pens. So I didn't get to try this out on this, this layout. Um, you know, you just want to try so many things, but I definitely want to try that out and see what that looks like. But you can use your dual pen brushes with the little dots. So I'll, I'll be trying that out, I'm sure, on another, on another video. So I had a bunch of dies that came from the Chamel line and there's the one at the top of the layout that says you are fabulous I ended up putting some Tombow foam tabs underneath and I love that there's two different kinds of foam tabs there's the thicker ones and the thinner ones but that part of the video got corrupted and I couldn't um, I couldn't even upload it so I couldn't uh, show you that part, but I did add some foam tabs in behind that you are fabulous. And I'm going to put some more foam tabs here under the tell my story and it just brings it up so that it's a little higher up on the page and I like that. And I love that there's, they have two different thicknesses in one package. They have really thin foam tabs and they have thicker foam tabs and I like that. Now I'm going to add a little bit more of the rub-ons and then what happens a lot of times is I get to a point and I'm like oh I don't I can't think of anything else to do and I look at it for a while and then I just go okay it's time sort of time to let it be and just walk away from it. So after I do the, I use the Tombow dual brush pens in the Aqua, this is at the point that I'm at. I'm not really sure what else I want to do. I'm going to look through some more stickers and everything. And um, not really sure what I want to do, but I'm going to, oh yeah, I did take these Chamel stickers and I like to move stuff around on my page so I just I have a powder tool and I just take the stickiness away and the great thing is is even though because I mean it's a sticker but the great thing is is even though I've taken the stickiness away once I'm ready to glue that down the Tombow Mono Liquid Glue the Tombow Mono Multi Liquid, liquid Glue is a great glue for sticking these little bits and pieces down and what I like is even though it kind of oozes out a little bit it's all right it dries clear so you can't even see it so I'm going to use uh, the mono the Tombow mono multi liquid glue on the stickers and one sticker says amaze and fab and then there was just another little square sticker just to kind of ground all those elements and then there was another round sticker that I just because the clock was kind of round so I wanted to add some more round elements to the layout now I'm going to take some little Chamel 
stickers and I'm just going to, the, the title of my page is just read me because <laughs> I need to get those books read. So if you found me on the Tombow blog, uh, check me out on YouTube. I have almost 500 process videos and I have close to 800 videos on my YouTube channel. I've been doing process videos for two and a half years now, almost, yeah, two and a half years. And um, I post a video every second day. And um, a lot of times I'll have little kind of spurts where I'll upload a video a day for a week or so. And uh, so anyway, go check me out on YouTube. And then I have a blog and Instagram and Pinterest and all that fun stuff. And I also use the Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue to glue those little stickers because those stickers, they don't stick well at all. I could have used the Tombow Stamp Runner Dot uh, Pattern Adhesive too, but um, I had the the Tombow Mono Liquid Glue right in my hand. So I decided to use that. So I'm going to add some more using the Tombow Dual Brush Pens. And I'm going to add some more color to the layout. And this is where I think, yeah, okay, I'm done. And I kind of turn off the video, went to bed. And then the next day I'm like, oh, that'd be cool if I use some of those Tombow adhesive dots because guess what they're already colored and there was some in the aqua and some in the pinks which is the color of my layout and these are super cool so obviously you can use the Tombow adhesive dots just for like your embellishments um, like flare buttons and die cuts and you know how you would normally use adhesive uh, dots but these are colored so what I did was I just used them as almost like enamel dots so I put them down on the layout where I wanted to use them and then I'm going to put some clear embossing powder over them and then I'm going to emboss them with the clear embossing powder and once you've heat embossed them and that they're down on your layout and they are no longer sticky. So they have become a nice and shiny enamel dot. Now, how cool is that? I absolutely love that. It is so cool. The only thing maybe that I would have done different is I would not have put my Tombow adhesive dot so close to my rub-ons because as I was heating up the glue dots, I was also heating up my rub-ons and they were kind of curling a little bit, but um, it didn't totally ruin them. So I'm okay with that. So what I do is off camera, I heat it up my heat tool to make sure that it's nice and hot because you want to make sure that, you know, the instant that you put the heat tool onto that adhesive dot that you're starting to melt away that powder. But I love that they're so shiny and I love that they're already colored. And um, I do that quite a bit. I walk away from a project and I think I'm done. And um, this layout took me a little over an hour to do. And um, so anyway, I had spent about an hour the night before and it was getting kind of late. So, you know, put it away. I come back the next day and uh, I think half the time I end up dreaming about layouts anyway. But <laughs> um, so I thought, oh, that'd be really cool because the Tombow Mono Multi Glue is awesome for gluing down threads because even though it kind of oozes out a little bit, it's super strong. So it holds your thread and uh, in place because it's just like a messy mess of thread and uh, but it holds it down nice and sturdy and it's kind of stays there and even if it oozes out a little bit no big deal because it doesn't show it dries clear so i just took out some thread in some pink and in some aqua and i added it to the layout now the next thing i'm going to do is i took the marker that they gave me and it's called a mono twin from tombow and it is awesome. It is oil base. And I just did my journaling right under my title. 
And that's going to complete my layout. And thank you, Tombo, for sending me all this great goodie stuff. I loved using it. I love everything. And don't forget about their contest that runs from July 29th to August 19th. I'll have a link down below so that you can check all that out. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.